The CMS volleyball team hosts the East-West Challenge on Friday and Saturday at Roberts Pavilion, featuring six teams ranked in the top 30 in the latest AVCA coaches poll. The Athenas come in with a 7-1 record on the year, and although the season is only two weeks old, the team has already had a year's worth of drama, featuring four wins in five sets out of their first seven. Uh, well, it's safe to say that we're a resilient team that's uh, very competitive-minded, and we never find ourselves out of any given situation. I think that the team has shown that they're opportunistic and they feel like they're in any match, no matter how many sets we've dropped or how many points we've dropped. Um, we're good in fifth sets, what can I say? The biggest thing that we've learned is that we're super resilient as a team. Like, we've come back from a lot of two-set um, losses and everything, and then we come back to winning five, which is really hard in volleyball because it's such a mental game. As the defending national champions in Division Three, the Athenas are taking the best shots from their opponents every time they take the floor. However, CMS might be defending national champs in name only, as eight seniors graduated off of last year's team, and two other key players have yet to play this year. That has meant many other players have needed to step up, and junior libero Sarah Trischler is impressed with the way they've done so. So impressed. Like, it's insane seeing people who didn't play at all last year and are being like MVPs of tournaments and making all tournament teams and everything. It's so impressive just seeing everyone step up and like play in the role that they're meant to be in. Junior Amanda Walker saw limited action last year behind the senior class, but stepped up to become the MVP of the Trinity Classic last week. Head coach Kurt Vlasic wasn't surprised at all to see the performance of his junior standout. I think, you know, I've always seen that in her. I, when I saw her as a junior in high school, I felt like her potential was exactly what we saw this weekend. So, you know, it, it would be... It wouldn't be right to say that I'm surprised. I'm actually uh, very pleased and happy for her because I know the work that she's put in and I think she deserves it and uh, I'm not surprised. The Athenas have had two tough tournaments and now entertain a third one with the East-West Challenge this weekend, but Trishler is excited for the opportunity to test themselves against the best competition yet again. I think it's kind of intense because we don't usually play this many top 10 teams and top 15 teams, but it's good to have a challenge early in the season so we can experience like hard challenges and being down and losses, but we're just getting better as a team because of it.